appears that Governor Pence does have some loose ends uh, that he's maybe trying to tie up before he heads to Washington. The Indianapolis Star is now reporting that Governor Pence has decided to wage a court battle back home with everything else he's dealing with. He's decided to wage a court battle back home to try to keep some of his email secret. This comes out of a lawsuit that Indiana filed against the Obama administration on the issue of immigration. Mike Pence is now fighting in court to keep his email related to that lawsuit secret and hidden from the public. Hillary Clinton on line two for you, Governor. I should note that this is not the only time that Mike Pence has been notably private about his public stuff. Um, before Mr. Pence became governor of Indiana, he was a U.S. congressman for a long time. He was in Congress for 12 years. All of his papers from his time in Congress um, have been shelved at Indiana University in Bloomington. Um, this is all of his papers. He made the decision to do this. It spans more than a decade of his public life. It's apparently a lot of content, 30 cartons of paper documents and lots more electronic records spanning 12 years of his time in public life. But Governor Pence has made a remarkable decision that those congressional records, those papers from his time in Congress, will be sealed with no public access until December 2022 or until he dies, whichever comes later. And honestly, the weirdest part about all of that is that Mike Pence did not have a particularly consequential time in Congress. He wasn't, like, really involved in super high-level decisions. Mike Pence was in Congress for 12 years, but he literally never had a bill become law. He had one bill clear committee, one, that was to scrap limits on an individual's aggregate campaign contributions, but that one didn't even pass. It just died a little later than everything else he ever proposed in Congress. So I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone in thinking, what could possibly be in those documents that they have to be held under seal until you're dead? As the plan stands now, uh, we, we might not know until he dies. Or he could decide now to open them to the public. The people maintaining those archives say that that's actually all that it would take. They, could, they would happily renegotiate with him if he wanted to allow that stuff to be made available to the public. Maybe this would be a good time to do that. Why should those records be sealed, particularly given his new job?